Scientific Notation Lesson 5 Notes, example number 2. Write each number in scientific notation. Well, the first thing we have to decide is where does the decimal belong? What you want to do is we, we read from left to right. So start on the left and find your first non-zero number. And after you find the first non-zero number, the decimal goes after that. So for example, for A, I start this way. The first non-zero number I find is this 3. So the decimal would go after that. So I'm going to just point an arrow there. I'm going to point, put up my arrows first. For B, all right, this is my first non-zero number starting on the left. So the decimal is going to go after that. For C, again, this is my first non-zero number starting from the left, so my exponent is going to go after the 1. Not my exponent, sorry, my decimal. All right, so let's go back to A. So I know the decimal belongs between the 3 and the 4. So I have to write from the first non-zero number to the last non-zero number, so 3.45. And now you could either use the dot or you could use the x to show multiplication. So 3.45 times 10 to the, well count, how many decimal places did it move? 1, 2, 3, 4. Or I like to just think, here's a line, here's a line. How many numbers are in between there? There are four numbers in between. So that means my exponent's going to be a 4. But it starts with a 0, so it's going to be a negative 4. Or you could look at it as the original number was less than 1. Therefore, it's going to be a negative exponent. Starts with a 0, going to be a negative exponent. For b, I know that the decimal goes between the 7 and the 2, so I'm going to put negative 7.25. You need from your first non-zero number to the last non-zero number. So negative 7.25 times 10. Well, the decimal is going here. And where was it originally? When you don't see a decimal to begin with, that means it's at the end. So originally, it's back here at the end. So how many numbers are between there? 3, 6, 9. So my exponent is going to be a 9. Negative 7.25 times 10 to the 9th. For C, my decimal goes after the 1. So first non-zero number to the last non-zero number, so just 1.2, times 10 to the, again, I don't see a decimal. That means the decimal was here on the end. So it's moving from here on the end to here between the 1 and the 2. And it moves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my exponent is going to be a 6. The original number is greater than 1, so it's going to be a positive exponent. All right, if you flip to your next page, it's example two continued. For D, my first non-zero number is this 6, so that means my decimal will follow the 6. For E, my first non-zero number is the 7, so my decimal follows the 7. For F, my first non-zero number is the negative 2, so the decimal follows the 2. Okay, for D, don't forget this negative out front. So it's going to be negative 6.7 
times 10 to the, well, it was here, and it moved to here. So how many numbers are in between? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine numbers are in between. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine numbers in between means that this is going to have an exponent of 9. But it starts with a 0, so it will be a negative 9. Or I could say the original number is less than, the absolute value of the original number is less than 1. For E, the decimal follows the 7, so 7.09. I need from the first non-zero number to the last non-zero number times 10 to the, well, the decimal was here. It's moving to there. How many numbers are in between? Three numbers. And since it starts with a 0, or because the original number is less than 1, my exponent is negative. For f, I'm going to have negative 2.3. You don't see the decimal. That means the decimal was here at the end, and it's now going to be between the 2 and the 3. So we've got 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. So negative 2.3 times 10 to the 11th. All right, so that is it for example two. All of my answers have one number in front of the decimal, and those that start it with zero have the negative exponents. If you have any questions about example number two, please do not hesitate to ask.